That food was absolutely delicious and a wonderful way to spend dinner. Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday. That, by the way, was Clark's, which we have eaten many times before. I often get a steak. Uh, I've said that that place has got basically the best steak I've ever had. Um, it also has a lot of other good food. In fact, we should talk more about it. Rewind that beautiful bean footage. First up are the salads that I've talked about so highly in the past, and I'm gonna give it a seven out of seven. Seriously, made of angels. I know that you can't quite compare a salad to, let's say, a fancy cheesecake, but in the scope of the salad kingdom, this is king. Seriously, there are no salads better. That delicious hot honey mustard bacon sauce, oh my god, and it's served with the roll? You can't beat this, it's the best salad in the universe. Next. Next up was Mal's entree. She actually ordered the ahi tuna appetizer as her entree. I did not eat any, so I cannot give it a rating. Mal, what would you rate it? Um, six out of seven. It's pretty good. I have had that before, but it's it's been a while. Although it's really hard. It's really hard to go wrong with ahi tuna, man. It's, it's good stuff. And that brings us to my entree, the Bayou Pasta, which has got uh, Andouille sausage, uh, noodles, obviously, because it's a pasta. It's got uh, crawfish, shrimp. It was quite delicious. Also, two big old slabs of bread. I was a big fan of that. I have not had that before, although Mao has, and uh, I'd give that a solid six out of seven, with the understanding that um, it's it's probably something I wouldn't get again. It's not that it was bad, but uh, I'm not a I'm not a huge huge pasta guy, and. Uh, I think that there are other things on that menu that I would rather have. The steak being one of them. Just wasn't in the mood for steak tonight, so I went with that uh, Bayou Pasta. Now you might be saying, that's kind of a fancy meal. What was the occasion? And the occasion is, we had a date night. It was nice. It was nice. It was, it was really nice. There, Mount and I have not been to like a restaurant by ourselves, for ourselves, with the intention of enjoying each other's company in a while. It's actually, uh, it's been a bit. And that's, that's sad. And it's, it's not that we felt like, oh, we need this, but um, it's something that we've actively talked about. Like, hey, well, we didn't say that specifically, Sagan, but that, I appreciate your input. It's, it's something that we've talked about, been like, hey, we should, we should maybe do that again. You know, we're married. Yeah, I know. Did you know? Oh, I know. Oh, you know. Okay, good. Uh, so we're... It, we don't have a schedule for these sorts of things, but um, every once in a while we try to do that. We hang around each other a lot, as you can probably tell. But uh, being able to go out and, and have something nice and just enjoy each other's company and talk is... Um, it's a thing couples do. It's a thing that we should try and do more. It's fun. Anyway, uh, now that we're back, even though we had a, a nice meal, it's not... Uh, I, I, a time for relaxation. There's still a lot to be done. Um, Mao is Mao has already gotten started on her next painting. There was a lot of work to be done on that painting. She's actually going to be going super fast because there's all sorts of crazy stuff happening. You don't even know. We're going to be talking about some of it soon. Um, there's a lot. There's a ton happening in April, and there's a a fair bit happening in March. So, um, yeah. There's a lot going on. Now, while Mao is going to be working on that, I am uh, finishing up, hopefully, the Fallout doc. Um, the goal is to release it tomorrow. If I don't release it tomorrow, then I will absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, release it Sunday. I'm that close. But um, I don't know. I'm going to work on it and cross my fingers hard. First thing, it is weird to have Skyrim footage on my screen again. That doesn't normally happen. Second thing, I am surprised by uh, how long this is taking in post. And it's not because it's a necessarily hard or even lengthy edit. That's actually not what's taking the time. It's something I had not considered and something that now in retrospect, I'm like, hmm, yeah, I guess that would take some time. The issue, the bottleneck, the thing that is causing this project to take forever is the fact that I want B-roll, not only from the Nora Jones stuff that I shot, I also want B-roll from previous episodes of Fallout, and in some cases, episodes of Skyrim. Those episodes 
and all Fallout episodes currently reside on my Windows computer because that's where all of the footage sits, um, all the completed episodes because they get uploaded to the cloud to ba uh, Backblaze. So if I want to pull a single episode from the Windows computer over to the Mac computer so I can put it into this mini dock, it takes five to ten minutes. That adds up quick. Because if there's all these different little things I want to include, it's five to ten minutes. Five to ten minutes. Five to ten minutes. You know, I've got ten. Ten different things I want to bring over. I'm like, yeah, there's a clip here that shows Grit doing this thing and a, a, a clip here doing this. Before you know it, that's an hour that I'm waiting for clips to come over. So, it's really weird because whenever <laughs> I was, when I got to the editing phase, I was like, oh, this is, this is going to be cake. And it, it kind of is, but it's wild that the thing that's taking forever is just waiting on the files to come over. And it's because they're, you know, they're pretty big and it's being sent over the network to the computer. And it's, uh, yeah, did not expect that. Now, the good news is that um, most of the mini doc is going to be B-roll of um, just the raw footage of Nora Jones. And that's already on the computer. I don't have to transfer that. But early in the doc, I'm doing a lot of talking where I'm like, hey, I'm going to, uh, I want to show you this clip from this or this clip from this. And I have to go get those episodes. I also have to find episodes, which takes a little bit of time too. Um, the Steven wiki has come in very handy. So shout out to everyone who manages that and in specifically the Fallout 4 section on there because I've referenced that quite a few times um, and it has helped me find things quickly. So I'm trying to put all this together. So the project as a whole is not um, going to be terribly difficult. And, and once I get past this little bit, it shouldn't be terribly time consuming. But um, yeah, not what I expected. The good news is I should have it done uh, by Sunday easy. Uh, I'd be, in fact, I'd be very surprised if I don't have it done tomorrow. But famous last words, I suppose. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And... We'll see how far I get tomorrow. Let's meet back then, shall we?